Hi, this is Tali and welcome to Buildru.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. And I'm at 3M's booth with Ellen, um, who's actually going to talk to us about their uh, flexible uh, SIGS uh, PV panel. So how are you, Ellen? Very good. Thanks for coming to visit us. Thank you. So uh, can you tell us a bit about the technology behind this? Yeah, so this is a panel from a, a company called Solo Power, and we've been wearing, very, working very closely with them and other SIGS manufacturers to produce a total encapsulation package to enable flexible SIGS PV. And so of all of the, this work, probably the most challenging part is the flexible front side barrier. And so this barrier has to have properties that it, the, has to be optically clear, has to be weatherable, has to have very low MTV, MVTR, so moisture vapor transmission rate. Um, and typically these panels, because of those requirements, have been encapsulated only in glass. But um, you know, with the work that we've been doing, we've been, a been able to prove out some of these concepts. And you know, you have one sitting here before you today. So uh, basically, your your market really is you're manufacturing these for other um, OEMs. That's right. We yeah, we work with with the the SIGS manufacturer, and we provide the materials for them to laminate them into panels. Great. So what's the efficiency of this product when you compare it with uh, other PV panels? Uh, so if you look at the, one of the one of the most inter interesting parts of of the SIGS technology is that they tend to have higher efficiencies than some of the other uh, PV technologies. So like amorphous silicon would tend to be lower efficiency. Some of the new micromorph stuff is, is maybe a little bit more efficient, but these tend to be, uh, you know, 10% and above. So they, uh, and in, in some of the theoretical testing, they've been able to get up to efficiencies that are much more competitive with crystal and silicon. Great. Um, and as far as durability, because I know that you know, this doesn't have like the glass on top of it, mm -hmm. so how durable is this product? Uh, it's designed for a 20-year lifetime. Okay, so is this product scratch resistant like during installation? Uh, yes, yeah, so, so this is made of a, a floor polymer, and so that these products are typically very weatherable, but they're also, we've chosen this particular floor polymer because it's scratch, scratch resistant. It's more, one of the most scratch resistant in that class. As far as cost, um, how does you know installing this type of product compare with installing other PV alternatives? Okay, so from an installation perspective, one of the reasons that you're going with a flexible construction is that it's much easier to install, and it can be integrated into mem membrane roofing and other with other materials. So that really lowers the labor cost in terms of putting in an entire system. So even if even if the materials in the panel would be the same, the overall installed cost of your PV system would be lower. So is there anything else you'd like to add about um, you know, the, the technical specs behind this product? Sure. Uh, well, I talked quite a bit about the, the front side ultra barrier film, but I would like to, to add that you know, the, 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 the encapsulation system for SIGs is only as good as the weakest link of the entire packaging. So we are working on all of the elements here, the edge seal, the back, the back sheet, and the entire encapsulation system. Great. So when will this product uh, be ready for, uh, for use on the market? Right now, we, we're already giving out prototype samples, um, and we anticipate commercializing it within 12 to 18 months. Okay, so I know you mentioned that this product is going to be available like a little bit over a year from now, but um, if I'm an OEM that's um, interested in this technology right now, are there any options for me? Yeah, actually, if you contact us, we are, in some cases, giving out prototype samples to help people with module design and such. Okay, so Ellen, thank you so much for talking to us. Yep. This is Tally from Buildru.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you.